Here on Today, we love to celebrate things, especially when something important, as important as National Hot Chocolate Day. What? This morning, pass. we thought we'd give you all the tips and tricks to make your hot chocolate the best in town. Controversial. Oh, no, this is going to be the best in town because Jane DeGraff is going to show us how to do it. Jane, talk us through it, sis. Go on. Mm. Oh, good morning, good morning, guys. Hot Chocolate Day is one of the fun ones to celebrate because you can do it your own way. And the first thing you need to think about is the kind of chocolate that you're going to choose. So there are all different kinds. There's the powdered kind, okay. there's the beautiful chocolate curl kind, and then, of course, you can chop the chocolate up yourself. Now, what you have to remember here is that the powdered kinds are often a lot sweeter. If you like it a bit more bitter, then chop the chocolate up yourself or go for the actual melted chocolate because that doesn't have extra sugars and things added to it. Radio. So if you want to make it sweeter or creamier, do you just whip out one of these? She seems oh. very good at that. <laughs> what does this do? <laughs> Into the whipped. Doesn't work. <laughs> so if you want to make it sweeter, you can add honey, you can add maple syrup, you can add sugar, you can do it that way, or you can add more chocolate. Because don't forget, extra chocolate makes it thick and creamy and also has sugar in it. So if you want to make it really, really sweet and rich, you just keep adding chocolate, guys. People more chocolate are, People always. are looking at this thing you've got going next to you on the slow cooker. Mm. So what have you got there? Have you just got a whole oh, bunch okay. of Cadbury dairy milk? What's going on? Um. Oh. <laughs> you make your favourite kind of hot chocolate and then you keep it in the slow cooker. The best thing about this is it means people can come and serve it for themselves whenever they want it. There's lots of it there but the temperature of a slow cooker when you pop it on low is actually perfect because it's not going to scald the milk and the last thing that you want is burnt or scalded cream when you're making beautiful hot chocolate. But let me show you the Parisian trend for really rich thick hot chocolate. Are you ready for this? This is how they have their hot chocolate in Paris. It's going viral. Oh, wow. It's pretty much just cream and a whole lot of actual melted chocolate. Look how thick that is. And then in some of the really fancy cafes, they serve it with a side of extra cream. So you choose how much cream Yum. you want to mix in to your hot chocolate to right. make it thick and creamy and delicious. Right, how much cream do you want in your yeah, hot chocolate? I don't want, any cream. Cream. I don't want any cream. Oh, yes, I, you do. Come I prefer on. a savoury hot chocolate than a the oh, sweet one. This one's a bit limp. Rubbish! Let me show you how to decorate a glass, guys. Come over here. Because you need to, if you really want to amp it up again, you can do something like this. Get some chocolate ganache, put a glass straight into it, and when you pull it out, look at that, the rim is covered in chocolate. Come down here and we'll just dip it in some sprinkles. Now, the best thing about this is because you haven't set hard chocolate onto the rim, you'll be able to eat that off, whereas if you set hard chocolate on, you kind of got to scrape it off. So this is a better way to do it with a nice ganache. Then get yourself some beautiful chocolate sauce. Run that down the inside mm. of the glass and add <laughs> your hot chocolate to that oh, sure. and squirt your cream on top and decorate it. Decorate it with all your favourite biscuits and extra bits because yeah. that will take your hot chocolate absolutely next level. So this is what it's all about. It's about celebrating chocolate in all its many forms, starting with the drink as your base. So you can do it yeah. as a nice hang powdered on, on, one on, if you like it some, really sweet. I'll put some you can hot make chocolate. it. Yeah. <clears throat> there you go. And then do I do this? And then do you put I, that on top. It, did I shake it up enough? Yeah. Are you squirting the cream? You've got to do the cream. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, no, it's everywhere. Um, Jane, <laughs> so what so I thought was going to happen. The point yeah. is you can have fun with hot chocolate like Sarah is right now. It's delicious. Exactly. And, you, and but you do have to sample <laughs> it. it. All right, I'm going to sample it. Ready? That is not... You haven't had the hot chocolate. I don't know where it is anymore. We'll dive into it, sister girl. <laughs> Go on. She's lost it. She's um, totally lost Jane, it. Jane, that's great advice um, for anyone out there who wants to soup up their yep. hot chocolate. <clears throat> there you go. Mm-mm. Oh, delicious. Oh, that looks delicious, what Jane's Try the does. French exactly style what Jane. one. It's amazing. Exactly Melted chocolate, extra cream. More information <laughs> than what we gave you on the website. Go to it. Get into it. Go on. No, I'm not drinking that. Well, you made it. I know, but it's not quite as appetising as hers. Oh, come So... I'm yeah. lactose intolerant, <laughs> so I, I can't actually. What? So it's a real thing. No, it's a real thing. I've got to a... take it seriously. Oh it's yeah. A real thing. It's proper mess. So I can have the marshmallow though. Hey there, today fans. Sarah and. <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God, Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?